Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate my fuel mixture for my uh, turbine power built VW, and I'm using uh, hydrogen peroxide 50% strength, industrial grade, and uh, methanol for the burning part. Okay, I'm gonna make some fuel, I'm gonna put it in, in a fuel tank, and I'm gonna demonstrate how the fuel belongs. Okay, there we go. I'm going to mix about two liters. Secret formula, make sure that everything gets perfect. Alright, I have to do it. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this sink into the fuel tank. So, this I can make feel bit too much. But anyway, from the same fuel mixture, I'm gonna demonstrate you how the fuel burns and how it behaves. The fuel is uh, safe; it cannot be ignited by a match or a match or a spark, and unless you have a catalyst, it cannot be ignited. So, first part, put some fuel in here. Okay. And if, for instance, we have a car crash or something, that's what's going to happen. Nothing. The fuel cannot be ignited by itself, by a, by a fire or a match. However, if you have catalyst like this one, this is my catalyst, manganese dioxide, which is uh, uh, mined in Minnesota, and it's very expensive stuff, about $200 a ton. Now, when the fuel gets in contact with the manganese dioxide, that's what happens. It decomposes into uh, steam and oxygen, and that's it. Now, if we have constant fire and manganese dioxide, which is not all over the place anyhow, Dioxide is a catalyst and constant uh, fire, or constant, constant fire, in order to ignite the, the fuel. Otherwise, nothing happens. Okay, what we have here is a fuel tank. In the future, will be two tanks like this. And uh, I have a low pressure fuel pump 
which pump is also the starting uh, starting pump. Once uh, I turn it on through the controls here, it starts to pump uh, fuel under 20 pounds of pressure, which goes into the combustion chambers over the catalyst, and then it's ignited by little blow plugs from a diesel engine, and the, the combustion continues as long as you put in fuel. Okay, everything is like a regular Volkswagen, instead of, if we, oh, the only exception is those three switches over here. You turn the ignition switch on, right away you'll get the temperature gauges to tell you what kind of temperature you have in the combustion chamber. You have the RPM meters over here, and over here you have two pressure cases of the steam. Over here you have three switches, first one is a blow plug, which starts the ignition, the second one it's the low pressure fuel pump of the starting pump, and this is the booster pump of the high pressure pump. And when the engine is running, all goes to, goes to run, this one is uh, turned off after 400 degrees. It's not needed anymore. So that's it. Nothing else special. And it drives like a regular Volkswagen. And transmission, clutch, brakes, and you can see. Okay? Okay, here is the engine, engine compartment. Of course, no. And uh, this is the engine. Here is the one combustion chamber. Here is the second combustion chamber. The fuel is pumped through this high pressure pump, through this tube, goes into the combustion chamber, it goes through, it burns, goes through these tubes, and it turns the turbine. And that's the whole philosophy of the engine. Over here we have the controls for the blow plugs. This is the throttle same cable from the Volkswagen and everything. This is the gauge for the low pressure uh, fuel pump, so I know how much is the fuel when it goes here, and uh, that's it. And it's only 80 pounds uh, heavy. Now we're gonna start it, and uh, we're gonna hit it. Over there in the corner is the tank, which takes one quarter of oil. That nice stuff over there. And that's it. No radiators, no water pumps, no, no cooling system whatsoever. No place around. Got to wait to, to cycle the blow plugs three times so they can get real hot. And then I'll turn the okay one, one time. It takes 8 seconds, 8 seconds hot, 12 seconds cool, so that you don't overheat it, but uh, the chamber will get uh, warm enough, hot enough for the ignition. Second, one more time. Now it's, uh, it's starting to this point, you're going to see a little bit of steam coming up. you got to bear in mind that 56% uh, of the fuel is water, and that water got to go over uh, 212 degrees. It's all steam in order to convert it to start. Now you see the steam.